Bueno, también me voy a decir un poco de... Hello everybody, it is I, the Willowizzy Big Mac, and welcome to Pac-Man World Repack. So, as you saw there, that's the opening cutscene for this game. Uh, now I'm gonna say this much, I am very familiar with the original, and I can go on and on about the main differences with that, uh, with that opening cutscene. How, uh, now, I don't remember what happened to Tom Chomp. Also, speaking of which, uh, Miss Pac-Man, all those characters there, yeah, they're, they're not Miss Pac-Man and everything, that, uh, the girl... Uh, the girl there, well, not the girl, uh, the Miss Pac-Man looking, uh, Pac-Person is actually Pac-Mom, and like all, like, and the whole reason why Miss Pac-Man isn't even in this game has to do with the fact that, uh, for some reason, at games now own the royalty rights to, uh, uh, to Miss Pac-Man and all that, which I think is, uh, a bunch of horseshit. Fuck. Fuck you, at games for uh, for preventing Namco from using uh, Miss Pac-Man and all them. Also, my dog's up here. Say hi, Bailey. Bailey says hi. Hey, <laughs> Mister, you got you got it. You got it down. Thank you. <laughs> So in the original, Talkman wanted chocolate cake instead of instead of vanilla. So at least the ghost got that right this time. Uh, one disappointment I have with the with the cutscene to this game is that uh, there's no voice acting. The original had voice acting. Uh, really, Bailey, on my lap again. Well, well, I guess this episode's featuring Bailey. Cause he, cause he, cause he wants to be on my lap right now. You can't, you can't be on my lap right now, little buddy. I'm recording a video. Yep, there it is, back mom. <laughs> Talk man sounds goofy with this gibberish. All right, so oh, here we are. Bailey, get down. Thank you, little buddy. Anyway, so welcome to Bagman World. This is obviously piss off sign. I can explain it better than you. So this is obviously a remake of Pac-Man World. Uh, here's one big difference compared to the original. Uh, grabbing a power pellet makes you big. Mega Pac-Man!
Yep. So, yeah, there's that. Let me, let me go grab those bananas. But, yeah, so, Penguin World. So, why did I... So, obviously, the game recently came out. Uh, funny, funny story. Uh, I was originally planning on doing the first Clone Noah as a Let's Play. And then they, and then, when I decided on this, Namco announced they were doing the Klonoa remake. I'm still never gonna get used to that new butt bounce. But, uh, yeah. They announced a new, new Klonoa remake. And, uh, and I'm like, well, shit, I guess I'm gonna have to wait for that. And then, uh, eventually, while I'm waiting for a Klonoa to come out, I was like, oh, you know what? I'll do, uh, Pac-Man World. And then Namco announces the Pac-Man World remake. And, and... I'm in that in between where it's like I'm excited because the game got announced, and the fact that Pac-Man's now acknowledging this uh, hidden gem of a of a platformer series using their mascot. But at the same sense, I was also annoyed that they were like, "Oh yeah, we're also doing this as well." And it's like, damn, now I have to wait even more. And between doing Clonoa and Pac-Man, I'm doing Pac-Man first because well, a their game recently came out. Like, as of right now, the game came out like. Almost a week ago, I would probably want to say, uh, as of recording. And also, because, well, two, I know this game a lot better than Klonoa. Klonoa would have been a blind playthrough. And three, Pac-Man World was 30 bucks compared to Klonoa being 40. Then again, Klonoa, you're getting the first two games. Anyway, so what are the mechanics of this game? Obviously, you can jump around. Uh, the main, uh, the mainstay of the Pac-Man World games are the butt bounce. This is like your main damage dealing to this game. Uh, you also have the red roll. I'm disappointed that that they change the sound. Basically, it's kind of like Sonic's uh, spin dash. And then you have now you see that counter right there where it says Y. Yeah, you can just throw pack dots. And if you if you hold it. Use up five to make a big bomb, like pack bomb or something like that. And yeah, that's basically the main mechanics of this game. Yeah, 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 I get it. So, I, I wouldn't call this a collectathon. It's kind of like it's not like the empty where it's like yes, it's a platformer and yes, it's a collectathon. I'm not gonna go for a 100% here. Uh, I will go for the good ending, however, because there's two, there are two different endings to this game. Uh. The bad ending is when you don't save all the family members, and you get the original ending from the first game. Which I'll explain more of that when we get to the ending. And then the good ending is when you can save all the family members. So I'm gonna go for a good ending. Yep, and now here's the thing. Now here's the, now here's one weird thing with the music in this game. This sounds like it's the original version of Buccaneer Beach. But when we get to the other levels, it sounds like they remixed the other music, so I can't tell if this is actually remixed or the original. Regardless, I'm fine with it, because Buccaneer Beach is... Really, like, the music in this game is actually really good. Now, now one thing I can... Now, because this this game is, you know, remade from the ground up, they definitely patch a lot of bugs. Uh, one of which being uh, Pac-Man's uh, weird momentum bug in the original. Uh, so, speedrunners... They like to just kind of destroy their D-pad and do this when Pac-Man's in the air. Because for some reason, in the original, Pac-Man just gets a lot of air momentum when you do this. And, uh, yeah. If you ever look up uh, a tool speed speedrun for the original Pac-Man world, uh, they go hard. <laughs> uh, one, now, because this is remade from the ground up, there is one consistency, consistency issue that I'm annoyed with. And that's just the butt bounce. There's kind of like a bit of a delay, like of course I'm used to it now, but there's like a bit of a delay uh, after you jump. Like, yeah, like right there. Like, you can't just mash A to do a butt bounce like you could in the original. There's a bit of delay before you can actually do butt bounce, which is, uh, it's a bit annoying, but I'll probably get used to it. And, he and here's one of Pac-Man's power-ups. Uh, Metal Pac-Man, and it works like it sounds like you can walk underwater, and that's how you can open up crates underwater. Now, I also mentioned this game does make a lot of changes as well to the uh, to classic Pac-Man formula, or Pac-Man World formula, rather. Because, now, as I mentioned, Mega Pac-Man was not in the uh, original. 
like when you grab a power pellet, you just pac man just kind of glowed and all the ghosts go like, oh shit, and start running away. Uh, yeah, let's just grab the metal uh, power up again. And this is where you're supposed to red roll uh, first. Yeah, 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 I know. I can take, I can take down enemies like this. Get some point. Wow, I didn't, wow, I, I didn't, I thought I actually missed them. Uh, huh. We take those, I guess. Anyway. And then there's these rev roll pads. Uh, Self-explanatory. You just rev roll on them and they do things. Uh, that right there is obviously a checkpoint. Uh, there's nothing underneath there. Believe me, I checked. Uh, when I... Like, uh, you saw that I had another file made before. It just, that was just me testing out, uh, the game. Like, see what are the main differences are. Hold up, can I actually gamer it? Gamer it. Uh, now, I will say this much. Pac-Man World, it's definitely, it's, it's, it's a good platformer. Doesn't doesn't mean it's a doesn't mean it's a uh what do you call it? It does not mean it's an easy one. Pac-Man World is honestly it can be challenging at times. Hell, the third level, hell, the third level of this game of this game period, or at least the third level of this world, definitely brings up the difficulty factor. And then here's and here's the uh, the the pack dot chain or whatever you call them. Animation's not the best. But we'll for but we'll forgive and go for this. Now there is one bit of controversy with this game that I'm aware of. Uh, apparently the original devs for the original weren't credited. And if that ends up being the case, uh Namco, please, please credit the original devs. I would not stand for this type of slander. Now there's these gates here. Uh everything's a bit self-explanatory. This one needs an apple. You need to grab an apple. Luckily, there happens to be an apple in that in that uh, in that chest. Open that gate. Uh, you get to get cool stuff. Ooh, pack dots. Clyde, Pinky. Run away from the big park man! And just and another thing. Uh. They decided to change the uh, the level clear, like the end of the level, uh, but yet yeah, by needing you to destroy this Talkman statue. Uh, speaking of which, I'm kind of in between with the new Talkman design. Like, I think I prefer the original be because I think the whole point of the original was like it was supposed to be just a shitty imitation of Pac-Man. This one, they actually like made it look like that. Oh, they're trying to make out Talkman as a menace. Rather than it's just a sh trying to trying to be a shitty Pac-Man, it might be shitty Pac-Man. Be like try and imitate Pac-Man, but look shitty in the process. I think that's the whole appeal of uh, Talkman. Anyway, I'm I'm pleased to hear that they brought this part back. We're going gambling, folks. All right, so basically slots. This is basically just for points. Uh, bup, 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 bup. boo. So the slots are RNG, so there's no point in time. Time it. You just have to hope to get lucky. Anyway, we, we can just skip all this. Yeah, and I'll say this much. One ups are crucial. You gotta hope you get one ups because you chew through lives in this game a lot. I'm disappointed that the uh, that I'm disappointed that the uh, next levels don't just explode open like in the original. Anyway, here's the hub world. Now in this game, there are two major game there are two major glitches in this game uh, that were obviously uh, patched out. I'll explain the other one when we get to it. First one, however, is in the original. So this, so this is what the hub world looks like in the uh, in this game. 
So, if I were to go to the left, we get the, uh, the caveman levels. However, if we continue going this way, you, there's a visible wall. And if we go the other, if, if we go the other way, it'll probably be faster if I rev roll. Maybe. We get the uh, the space levels. Now the original, now in the original game, you originally start out. Uh, in the pirate in the pirate area, and then and then you go right, you get to the uh, caveman area, and then you go right, you get to the space area, and then there's a little gate, and you have to be all three worlds in order to uh, in order to well you know move on. In the original hub world, uh, there was a glitch that actually allowed you to just go out of bounds and die, which is hilarious. So obviously they patch it out and. I kind of prefer the new hub world a bit better because I think I think the uh, I think they kind of they they structured it a bit better in my opinion. Now this is where you apply all the mazes. So you can play all the different state all the different mazes here. Yet, uh, this is where you can view cutscenes. This is post-game stuff, and even then, you can tell by the shape of this that it's a it's a Pac-Man arcade machine. Yeah, good, good, uh, uh good of you before hiding it, uh, Namco. We all know that this is Pac-Man. Also, supposedly, I'm pretty sure the developers that worked on this game are the same people that did the Pac-Man, uh, the Pac-Man Plus or Pac-Man Museum Plus, I think is what it's called. I'm sure, I'm sure my friend Chris is probably screaming at me right now, because he's a big pack nerd. But yeah, anyway, enough goofing around. I think we have time for another level. And here's a new mechanic that we're going to see. Uh, Galaxian ships, part of glass, Galaxian ships, and keys as part, as part of the fruit. Now, I'll explain them when we get to them. And then the Pac-Man letters. Now, the Pac-Man letters... Essentially, you collect them all, you get a bonus stage. And time for me to talk about the other glitch of this game. Or the, uh, or in the original, rather. So, in the original game, there's a glitch where if you go to the bonus stage, quit out of it, go to another level and kill yourself, you just automatically complete that, that level you entered. Because the game still thinks you're in a bonus level, which is hilarious. And it's also useful for speedruns because, uh... Well, I don't know about well, I don't know about you, but being able to skip annoying, annoyingly long levels is definitely a benefit for speedrunners. Now I'm gonna see what speedrun uh, for this game specifically is gonna be like. Uh, cool, I guess I can't go that way as Mega Pac-Man. Now another thing I should probably mention. No, go away. Yeah, we need, uh, the, uh, the metal packed up. Ooh, ooh, what do you know? Just what I'm looking for. You. Came back for earlier. And there you go. So, you have, so, you have four hit points in this game before you, well, flat out die. Now, here's the thing, in the... In the first three games, basically it was like the Pac- the Pac-Man right there it was split into three, and then your fourth hit point is when it's empty. So, you know, a bit weird there, but... What can I say? I'm gonna go grab that, uh... That metal dot again. Grab that P. That was Ah! Tokens that we can gamble. Uh, but yeah. But yeah, those are the two glitches, uh, I mentioned. The other glitch I mentioned. Yeah, those are the two major glitches this game had. Uh, shame that they took them out, but... 
but at least this gives me an excuse to actually show off the boss fights, because if I did this in the original, I probably would have gone like, yeah, you know those boss fights? Yeah, what, yeah, what, yeah, what boss fights? I don't know what you're, I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, gotta collect this cherry, gotta eat all the pack, the pack dots. Uh, now Pac-Man, I'm pretty sure, ha Pac-Man, I, if I remember correctly, cannot drown. So, you can stay underwater as long as you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought, I thought you, I thought, I thought you were like Bob Bomb very soon as you, uh, like yourself. You just, uh, kind of want to start killing yourself or something like that. Hey, okay, got the orange. I'm pretty sure that's an orange. Yeah, sorry, about, sorry if I'm not talking much. I just don't really have anything to say as of right now. You bird! I don't remember this. I vaguely remember this part of the original level. Uh, okay, there's, there's the uh, power dot. Run away from the back man! Uh, okay, good to know that the power pellets do not uh, count towards it. No, I like how you can actually eat the bird. I missed a C somewhere. Huh. Uh, that'll do it. Oh, and here's here's a new thing this game introduced. Metal enemies. You can only kill these enemies using, uh... You can only kill these enemies using, uh, Metal pack. Now, that was something that was never in the original. Nor the, uh... Nor World 1. Or... World 2, rather. And honestly, it's a welcome change. I actually like I actually like that change a lot. Okay, there we go. Christ, Christ is averted. And now this and this is where the gal Galaxian goes. If I can if I can find out where it is. chest over there that I want. So, in the original, Pac-Man just kind of floats around and you have to press a whole button to go up, a button to go down. In this game, uh, Pac-Man automatically just uh, sinks down. There we go, that, that's what I was missing. Anyway, so we're, we're gonna go up here and go, uh, go do that, uh, pack trail. I think that's what they're called. I don't know what else to call them. Okay, how did I miss it? There's our A, there's the bell, there's the health, an orange, and a Galaxian. Now, what does the Galaxian do? Well, obviously, well, obviously open up this gate. But what is this thing? Well, it ain't Pac-Man without mazes. And, I mean, like, I mean, what can I say? It's literally just a Pac-Man maze. Not your traditional ones, mind you. Now, honestly, I think the Mega, whole Mega Pac-Man thing is kind of pointless. Oh. I thought I thought I could actually get away with that. Ah, well. Uh, let me just get... Normally when I play, like, just... Regular Pac-Man normally normally go by quarters. 
Like, I try and get, like, sections done. You go away. But yeah, those are the mazes, and honestly, mazes mazes are entirely optional, so if I don't find a Galaxian in a level, I'm probably not going to backtrack and find them. Like, if I have them, great, I'll do the maze. If not, if not, then I'm just not going to worry about it, because mazes are entirely optional. If you see the point counter off to the uh, top right, yeah, that's basically just points. That's basically all, all it's for. Like, and honestly, the only thing about the points is that you go, like, if you get enough points, you do get a, uh, an achievement. But, like, I'll worry about that. I'll worry about that when I, uh... There we go. Yeah. But you do have to pump down to break that barrel. Anyway, yeah. How did I grab- how did I not grab that bell? Yeah, I was about to say, power-ups are gonna run out, so I'm gonna... There we go. And then, there's a specific thing we need here. Wait, that's a banana. That wasn't what I was thinking of. What am I missing? Grab all these back dots here. Don't forget. There it is. I'm wondering where that, uh, where it was. What if I jump in the water with you? Oh, you just got six down. Okay. I don't. I honestly don't know what I was expecting. Anyway, let's open up this gate. Uh, get this bad boy. Now, the thing is, we're missing one thing. Uh, we are missing a key. Now, where is this key, I ask? That is a question I don't remember. I don't know. It was supposed to be in that uh, chest over here, and I don't see it anywhere. So, and here's it. Up oh, there it is. That makes sense. There's the key. So you might be asking, well, what does the key do? The key is how you save family members. Family family members are in certain levels, and the keys are in different levels. Very rarely they are in the same in the same level. You and let's see, go down here. Go you. All right, just making sure I wasn't missing anything. And. That's the level. Hey, we got Pac-Man, which means it's a bonus stage. Uh, I already checked. The glitch is obviously removed. So, I won't be exiting out of this. So, again, I'm gonna go... I am gonna go for the Pac-Man letters. If I don't find them all, then... Then I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Oh well. Lost a lot of time when I missed the first few. 
slot bonus. Well, let's see how many tokens we have. Five? Oh boy, time to lose again. Maybe this one will be a winner. Doot. Uh, a doot. A doot. Aww. Well, maybe, maybe the next one. Maybe the next one. And this is why if I go to the casino, I'll probably be playing poker rather than slots. And luck is luck is horse shit anyway. Besides, you're talking to besides, you're watching the video of someone who has incredibly terrible luck. Hey! Three one-ups! We'll gladly use those for the next for the next level and the next the next episode. So then, crazy can can they? Is that how you pronounce it? Anyway, anyway, so next episode or next level is unlocked. Uh, however, I'm gonna have to leave it off here. So, uh, so if you guys enjoyed the, uh, if you guys enjoyed the episode, uh, please consider uh, subscribing because I would really appreciate it. Uh, and yet, yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next episode where we'll be doing, uh, Crazy Canyonade. I think that's how you pronounce it. Canade, Canadianade, Canadian, whatever. Uh, and we'll be doing the boss level, which is right here, by the way. So yeah, until then, buh-buh!